Just listen to this question that they asked Stinky. Roll it! <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Jeter, I know you know it's funny. <laughs> Look at look at this sweaty junkie with a blown out nose and listen to the question this dingbat asks him. <laughs> what are two things you do to stay healthy? Well, I used to play golf a little bit. That gave me so I don't know. But this... What? You haven't played <laughs> You haven't played golf since last week. <laughs> what do you mean you you used to play golf? <laughs> Seems to be quite a dangerous sport in retrospect. Uh, I try and eat properly. I try. I do the That's best. And I try and get stuff. I do, but 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 proper hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to this methane blob. <laughs> oh, stinky! <laughs> what an imbecile! <laughs> but uh, I like. Perhaps all of the wrong food, but then I say, does anybody know what the right food is? Right people that. lecturing me for years, oh, don't eat this, don't eat that. And they're gone. They have passed away. Now, who lectured you? Tony Fat Salerno? <laughs> Maybe Giuliani. He's the epitome of health. <laughs> you, honey. In her campaign have called you an existential threat, a danger, and said that you will be a dictator. And after the second attempt on your life in a row, afterwards, Hillary Clinton said, you're a danger to the country and the world. Do you blame that kind of rhetoric in any way for inspiring assassination attempts or do you think it's completely unrelated? Uh, you teed up stupidity there. I do, and a lot of people say that, but more of Forget about the liquid gold under our feet. <laughs> you can solve the energy crisis if we could just harvest it to the nose oil. <laughs> and it's, hey, hey, as far as the as far as that uh, quote unquote incendiary rhetoric. Now, what Democrats need to do moving forward when confronted with this kind of shit? Just say, okay, I got two things to say when it comes to this. We just point out facts. January the 6th and the Green Bay sweep. That was intended to end democracy. That's all you need to say. Enough. It's a mic drop if you say that. Continue, stinky. Just the opposite. They are a danger. Right? Nope. That's you. That's you, you goddamn coup plotter, son of a bitch. They're destroying our country. Nope. You're trying to, but you're such a joke, it's not going to happen. They're allowing millions and millions of people. No, they're not. That's a lie. People to come into a country that shouldn't be here. People from jails. And nope, people, that's a lie. People from uh, gangs. Cow, that's a lie. We're all over there like Caracas. In the nope, that's the only. That's the only country you could think. Of. That's the only. That's the only city that you could think of. No, that's a lie. That's a lie. Is that well? Their crime is down seventy-two percent. That's a lie. Uh, you look at what's happening all over the world. And I'm not just talking about South America. I'm talking about prisons are being emptied. Nope, that's a lie. All over the world, they're dumping them into the United States. That's a lie. It's, the criminals are being taken off the street. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. That's going to be another lie. Stop. Now, now he's saying that they're taking criminals off the street, right? And he wonders why we call him out for being a threat to democracy. This is... he. He was just asked that question and he turned around and fired out incendi incendiary uh, rhetoric. Are you kidding me? This is just flat out Kim Jong-un propaganda featuring Kim Jong-un's little sister there. Damn it, stinky. In cities and places all over the world. That's a lie. They're being dumped into the United States. That's propaganda. That's a lie. It's mental institutions. That's a lie. That's a lie. Being emptied out into the United States. That's a lie. That's a lie. Your days are numbered, Stinky. Your days are numbered. You're going to prison. They are a threat to democracy. Nope. Look at the. I'm not a threat. You're a threat. I'm not a threat. You're a threat. Stinky. Listen to Stinky's cabinet. <laughs> Continue, you dingbat. In a possible second term, I think people are curious what specific positions you've discussed giving to Bobby Kennedy, Elon Musk, and Tulsi Gabbard. Well, Elon is Elon. Isn't he? <laughs> Did you hear that personnel? <laughs> Mr.
Mr. Flem, <laughs> the airheaded Indian, <laughs> and a five head weirdo <laughs> with hair plugs. <laughs> is, uh, <laughs> he feels this is the most important election we've ever had. Uh, and as you Look, know, probably wait, 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 wait. Stop, 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 stop. You see right there? You see right there? That's a patch. That's a patch. This idiot, his nose is completely blown out. That's a hole right there. That's a... <laughs> hey, hey, I think Stinky did work at McDonald's and he stole the grease. <laughs> There's a couple of other things to do, but... Uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He's indicating he might be willing to help with like government waste type what, issues. What he will do is... Uh, and the thing... <laughs> government waste. If this guy ever became president, government waste would be changing this idiot's diapers. <laughs> we talk about more than anything. Minister of Waste. <laughs> is exactly that. It's costs. Um, he's a big cost. <laughs> he's going to be <laughs> particularly diapers. <laughs> he's always been very good at it. And I'm good at it, but Elon, I'll tell you what, he will go in and... You're, you're good at saving money. <laughs> Talk about targeted. Listen to this stupid bitch. Continue. You will arguably be the most targeted president in American history, whether we're talking about... What do you mean targeted? What are you talking about? By the way, he ain't going to be president. No way. Foreign threats or domestic threats, does it change how you can govern? If the Secret Service or some people say they can't guard you effectively at a static... Oh, what is he get? He'll just get a bunch of... He'll just get the army to guard him. <laughs> this is what this lady's insinuating. This is disgusting propaganda is what this is. Golf course, how can they guard you on an overseas trip? Well, I think... Did you hear that? If they can't guard you on a golf course, how are they going to guard you on an overseas trip? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Did you hear how stupid that sounded? Continue, you sack of armpits. We uh, just have to do what you have to do. You know, the only ones that really are trouble are consequential presidents. So in that way, it's... <laughs> consequential. <laughs> Don't flatter yourself, you prick. Very nice honor, but it's true. I mean, I was a very consequential president. No, you weren't. You were the worst president ever. <laughs> Rated last. <laughs> would certainly be, and maybe even more so this time, and because I understand the system, I understand countries. I understand <laughs> if it isn't Abraham Stinking. <laughs> oh, Stinky. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Stinky blew a hole in his nose. <laughs> You need some super glue, Stinky. Understand who rips us and who doesn't, and a lot of people don't. A lot of people don't have a clue. They don't even know what's happening. Stinky, maybe you can hire this guy. <laughs> maybe this guy. <laughs> what a fucking shit.